It's a new day, Destin. It's time to make me smarter. Excellent. <laughs> Good morning, Brady. So I'm um, CGP Grey, and uh, I like to make videos um, explaining things. And I, I particularly like things that uh, seem simple at first, but turn out to be uh, quite complicated or have um, involved stories behind them that you're not going to expect when you first hear about it. So those are the kind of topics that I really like. Well, my name is Derek, and I run a channel called Veritasium. I'm Vi Hart, and I make videos about cool mathematics. She's Danish. Nice. Oh, one second. Am I looking at you or am I looking at the camera? My name is Henry Reich and I make the Minute Physics videos. That's pretty good. Yeah. For three dollars. I'm like a normal guy that uh, happens to enjoy science and I like to study it through setting up little experiments and figuring stuff out. I call myself a math musician because that's a title that doesn't really have any associations. So I can make up whatever I want and I'll say, oh yeah, that's what math, math musicians do. That's, that's fine. My most popular series is Doodling in Math Class and it's just like stuff, all the, the doodles you do in, in your math class, kind of finding the mathematical basis of those so that you can actually do math in your math class instead of whatever it is the teacher is telling you. By official trade and training, I am a musician. Um, I went to school for music. Uh, my degree's in music from Stony Brook University. And math has always been my hobby. Well, I was really interested in physics and science. I love those things. Um, but I'm also interested in, in communicating and in making films, the craft of you know, making something that people can watch and actually learn something from. So uh, my PhD was about merging those two passions so I could look at physics and also how to communicate it, how to teach it. It wasn't, it wasn't planned at first to be uh, sort of a faceless YouTuber. I much, I much prefer to not be on camera if, if possible. I really, I really like being able to uh, like walk through London and, and not, not be recognized and, and so I very highly value my anonymity and plus not having my face in the videos forces me to concentrate much more on the visual side of an explanation for a particular topic so I can't just shoot myself talking about it I have to think about what pictures are going to be there. My, my grandfather was the one person that changed the way I look at the entire world. He, he taught me that you know he was a simple man, he was a cotton farmer he went to war, he went to the Korean War, and then he came back and he did rocket design for Warner Von Braun. It was pretty interesting because the same guy that would teach me about how to shoot a rifle in the woods or how to, how to look at the trees and identify them, he would also teach me about the stars and teach me how far away they were. And uh, he had this saying that he always said to me, he said, uh, I love you all the way up to the comet belt. And that's, uh, that really has changed my entire worldview because he, you know, he's, he was a man of emotion, uh, he was a man that, that loved people, but at the same time he, he was, you know, he was aware of his surroundings and he had a very critical mind. So the symbol for Veritasium is basically just the symbol for an element, because uh, I came up with this idea for the name, um, Veritas in Latin means truth, um, and so adding I-U-M on the end makes it sound like an element. Veritasium is the element of truth. So my logo is supposed to be um, like a flask from chemistry surrounded by a gear on either side. And I like to think of that as representing the two most powerful forces in the universe, which are science and then technology, the application of science. So there's a P uh, surrounded by an omega. So the real story was that, uh, that I originally called it one minute physics. And omega, and omega seemed like an appropriate letter for that. It was OM, was the start of omega. Um, and the ohm is the unit of resistance, uh, it's represented by omega. So I said, well, I'll take a P for physics and surround it by omega, and it kind of looks cool. Really, I didn't really think about it that much. And then eventually, when I, when I actually started the YouTube channel, I don't want to put myself in so much of a box that it's one minute physics. So I said, I'll call it minute physics, and then people can interpret minute as meaning, you know, an order of magnitude of one minute. So it could be anywhere from 10 seconds to 10 minutes, roughly. Uh, and I thought that was a pretty neat name because it you know, fits on the periodic table, so that's where I got the logo from. And it's got the uh, atomic number I, which is the imaginary number, the square root of negative one, which I thought was only fair since veritasium is not actually a real element. Uh, and then it's got the mass number 42, which um, is sort of a reference to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and the answer to uh, life, the universe, and everything. Yeah, my happy triangle person. Um, so my happy triangle, wind, Wind was a character in one of my videos who lived on a Mobius strip. 
and this character I ended up drawing over and over just because I really like triangles. Triangles are easy to draw and the reason this character was a triangle was because it's just a simple geometric shape. It's in, in some ways, it's the definition of Euclidean geometry. It's just so Euclidean, it's so planar, so for drawing on paper, for video, which is on a flat screen, uh, triangles just completely exemplify that. I mean, triangles have been used as a symbol in so many things for this reason, that it's got this threeness, it's got this simplicity. Okay, there's a, uh, my favorite author is a guy named C.S. Lewis. He wrote a book called, uh, or a series called The Chronicles of Narnia. And in The Chronicles of Narnia, there's a small character named Reepicheep. And Reepicheep is a, a mouse. Often these characters go to battle, but Reepicheep has a sword. And it's like he doesn't know that he's small. He doesn't know that he cannot add much value to the battle, but uh, he's always fighting for truth. And so what's interesting to me is uh, Reepicheep will take on, uh, he'll take on a foe that will most certainly kill him. But if the foe is against truth, then he's, a, he's the enemy, so he must be attacked. So uh, I, I really appreciate that sentiment. So uh, there's, a, there's a woman in, in Ireland, she's a, an artist, and she drew this symbol of Reepicheep, and I asked her if I could uh, purchase it from her, and uh, she just gave it to me. So it was really nice of her, and uh, so I've, I've kind of taken it on as my symbol because, you know, it's, it's the pursuit of truth at all cost. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're not true in the videos, then you have nothing. So, I don't know, it's about, it's about honor, truth, and uh, doing what's right. It's interesting that you noticed him on my shirt. My wife, uh, my wife puts these on my shirt for me. It's kind of a, it's a way to, I don't know, it's a team thing, right? So the fact that she puts them on my shirt is kind of like saying, I'm behind you. I'm behind you, Destin, but it's very important that you, you stay true to the things that we've agreed on. So it's very important for me that, uh, that I remember why I'm doing this.